Hi there, sign of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading, and this is going to be for the next 48 hours. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my headset went off, and then it's coming back on right now. So it's like there's something to do with communication. Have a little bit, and then you drop. Have communication, and then we drop. I don't know, something like that. Let's see. Pulling from the Energy Oracle first, and then we're going to go into the Tarot and pull Celtic Cross for your next 48 hours. Capricorn. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thanks to those people who have gotten private readings. I appreciate you. Door to value. Door to value. All right. So something's really good with the money then, right? Something's good with the money. The last reading you had was really good with the money too. Show me the money. And there's something about envy. Somebody might be envious of you because the money's good, if that makes sense. What else? What else? Understanding people have different challenges. Even if it doesn't seem like it. 52, goddess of the moon. That's that high priestess energy. Some of you might be jealous of your gifts, your talents, abilities, psychic gifts. A feeling of fitting in the community, really having your back on something could be an issue too, or there could be something there. But there's a lot of money coming in, and I would also watch out with the envy, with envy here. And I, I mean, because somebody could be really green with envy here, so just... Yeah, because look, you recognition, be willing to accept praise and recognition when it's due. It's empowering to feel valued and seen. Patting yourself on the back and or accepting compliments from others can be the gift that keeps on giving. And transmute, you have the ability to transform tough times and challenging energy into a multitude of things. Let your heart space lead the way as you transmute your struggles into wisdom and wonder. And then I have connect, <laughs> connected, which is exactly what my headphones were messing up on me. So um, connected, you are always connected to the wisdom of your higher self and everything around you. Just sometimes we may need to disconnect, right? Or maybe we're really good at that. <laughs> Either way, take cues from your energy level and your intuition. It is just as important to know when to disconnect for your own be well-being as to when, well, as when to connect. <laughs> yeah. All right. Messages for Capricorn. Next forty-eight hours. good time. Okay. Using light Sears Tarot. I have the seven of pentacles. You have been investing a whole lot. And right now there may be choices and consequences being weighed out. Uh, you may just be admiring your work that you've put in. Temperance in the chariot. Oh my goodness, that's good energy. The Page of Pentacles is in the reverse, so we'll talk about it. Six of Cups is in the reverse, too, in the past. Family issues. Ten of Wands, totally burned out on something. But, I mean, you've done all you can in that, in that situation. The Two of Wands in reverse. The Hermit in reverse. The Star in reverse. The Lovers in reverse. What's going on? And your outcome, the King of Swords, which is gaining control. So, you're being really wise at what you're investing in, I feel like, with this Seven of Pentacles. And and with discipline, um, you know, th this King of Swords energy is really going to pay off if you take advantage of it. It also could be Aquarius energy. It can be talking about needing to get wise counsel here, you know, like a lawyer or something like that. Um, the issue or challenge may be travel. Or something to do with driver's license, maybe, possibly, or vehicle. 
Page of Pentacles is what I want to talk about because Temperance is here, you know, saying the angels are organizing things in the background and everything's happening in divine timing. And it probably won't make sense logically, you know, getting from one place to the next is not A to point A to point B with spirit. It's it's quantum. So it's on all time area levels of time. It's um, in, on all dimensions, past, present and future. Um the Page of Pentacles in reverse is saying that there's something you need to try over again, but not the same way. And that something is working out in divine timing. It might have to do with somebody uh, with getting along with somebody or groups of people getting along. Because there may be family issues here, like I said, that need mending. The Six of Cups in reverse. What's the Six of Cups in reverse about? And it might be thinking back. Maybe a child, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, possibly um, finding information of what to do for this if we we're really worried about this person or this situation. Whatever our worry, anxiety, or depression is, that got relieved in a sense. There still is more information that we're needing to gather. And I have the Empress energy in reverse, possibly like some unhealthy um, mother to child energy or just unhealthy in the sense that empress needs to focus on themselves so what's the the hermit of hell it's the good news <laughs> because the page of wands is looking right at that hermit i think that that's about good news coming to you about possibly um time time to integrate what you've learned, maybe getting yourself back out there, like coming out of hermit mode here, feeling like you want to socialize again, maybe. There is some kind of disappointment in somebody, and you're, you're doing all that you can in a situation with the Ten of Wands, okay? So what is this star in reverse about? The Seven of Wands in reverse, disappointment. Somebody is not standing up or being brave or assertive for what they want. Um, so being bold and assertive, it's kind of hard to be bold and assertive, I'm hearing, when you're so disappointed. But you will persevere and not stop trying. There's definitely something that's going to be set in the motion, and the challenge is getting it going. Hey, what's the Ten of Wands about up there, The what you've tried your best on? Yay, to meet some milestones, and you've done that successfully. Door to value, goddess of the moon, it, and your achievements now. This could be a graduation, a ceremony, um, any kind of ceremony. Marriage, it's a milestone met. It could be for a Virgo, but this is you. You really feel like getting back out there. You feel like getting out there. Two of Wands energy. What is that about? Two of Wands in the reverse with the Two of Swords in reverse is really a decision that needs to be made and and it might have to be it might have to do with like a peaceful agreement made between somebody else and you it may be something split down the middle um two two what's the lover's energy in reverse whoa somebody is very disappointed or has regrets if they left a situation they have regrets and they miss you. Have regrets and miss you. What's the King of Swords about? Wow. You're going to get your Ten of Pentacles with obedience and discipline to yourself. Here's that door to value. And there's your Ten of Pentacles. That's the, you know, everybody's going to be taken care of in the whole family. And somebody might be returning and might have to do with that. That's what I've got for you guys, Capricorn. Thanks so much for letting me do your reading. Let's pull you an angel guidance card. Uh, wrapped up your reading. I know it did a little fast, but geez, it was, a, it was a good reading. It was a good reading. Here we go. Get grounded. Yeah, because I'm flying all over the place here with these cards. Get grounded. Angel of grounding. Take a walk. Do something practical. Listen to some music while taking a walk. 21, Angel of Music. Also might have something like in your life that's really inspiring. Uh, you know, your hero. So you need your own soundtrack. 11, 11, Angel of Encouragement. That's twin flame type energy here. So, and I also saw that energy here popping up for the future too, if that's your thing. So sending you light and love. Bye there, Capricorn.